He didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink, too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more modded Mass Effect 3. This is Hill here with Leon Shepard on board the Normandy. We just finished a discussion with Admiral Hackett. We have a new person here. <laughs> the Primarch now aboard the ship. Let's see if he has anything to say. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. Gara said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Yeah. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right. But there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood. If we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Let's ask about Turian help for Earth. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Let's ask about his duties. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away. Reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men. So there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I can relate. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader. Yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. All right, that's it. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. All right. Yeah, if we go around the circle enough times, we'll find the right door. Oh, we've got what? Uh-oh. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. All right, people. Uh, yes, soldiers, thank you. As you were. So we have new guests on board. Commander, comm yep. systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. All See right. if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Deck three it is. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss? 
Oh my goodness. Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Wow. <laughs> I can say. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wait. What exactly happened? A transition. You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. That was dangerous. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Test it first. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. Oh, I know he will. On that, we can agree. Wow. And she even has a new hairstyle so that she looks even more human. All right. Well, there you have it, people. That is the mod, a human ED. <laughs> wow, that was cool. All right. I'm glad to have her on board. I'm telling you, these mods just, I mean, they make such a huge difference in the game. All right, we need to talk to some more people. I think, uh, where is Allers? I know she's around here somewhere. We need to talk to her. Life support? We didn't put her in here in Thane's old quarters, did we? What is all this stuff? Training videos? Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't realize this was here. Another maintenance shaft. There's another model. Destiny Ascension. And where does this take me? Okay, this is a back door to where the Turians are. Yes, you don't need to salute me. And another shuttle. Okay, let's go back down in here. Okay, we're still looking. This is the men's room observation deck. I don't think she's in here. Why does this look different? What is this? I, like it's weird. It's like I've played this game before and it's like I'm seeing stuff for the first time. And I don't know if these are mods or if it was here all along and I just never paid attention to it. We really should get a, a card game going here. This looks so inviting. 
Reminds me of a uh, next generation. All right, let's try this deck. Does this open? All right, still no sign of Allers. All right, I think we have checked all the things on this level. <clears throat> We can try engineering and see if she's down here. She's got to be around here somewhere. All right, this doesn't look like it has a lock on it. I have to ask, do you all report ah, so, here we go. Um, feminine? I mean, you made up so well. We actually have a research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, pay more attention. Salarians relate to high-pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. I cannot believe Trainer F just flirting with these women. Really? I'm going to have to have a talk to with her. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Get us support. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Oh, gosh. Um, I have time. Tell me now. Whose mic was that? She has got some curves. All right. So Allers is down on the engineering deck. I need to remember that. Okay. We have one other person to talk to. And what happened to... Oh, there he is over there. I think that was him. Alright, you. I think we need to talk to you. Hey, boss. So, that Turian's on board now, no? That, and Edie's got herself a shiny robot body. What? She got that Cerberus bot and took it over. You're shitting me. I shit you not. Huh. You down here for a reason? Or you just come to tell me about Edie? Um, if you saw Edie, you would know why I came to help me here. <laughs> she looks amazing. Anyway, um, yeah, I thought I'd come to say hi. Just came down to talk. Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I'm game. I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <clears throat> was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. 
And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Oh. I missed the Tough prompt. Choice. I was getting... But it was the right call. Involved in the story. You think so? I would have done the same. That's what's funny. You were doing the same thing. You took out the collectors. We never needed that intel. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink, too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe... <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. <clears throat> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, loco. <laughs> You bloodied my shepherd. That's my fault, though. I missed the prompt. Look at him. Look at He's been beaten. Anyway, Loco. I like that. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge. You can call me whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, I won't forget. Okay, so we've got that dance out of the way. Let's head back upstairs. Actually, since we're here, let's see, we might be able to do some more upgrades. Oh my goodness, look how expensive this stuff got. Um... I need... See, I'm looking. I need um. What's his name's gun? I don't think it's even here. Garrus gun. And I can't think of the name of it. I'm just hoping that I would see it, but I don't. Hmm. I think, though, the Mantis, I think, isn't this the sniper rifle he was carrying? Well, you know, it will be. Go ahead and uh, level it up. But it's that other... Gosh, I can't think of the name of it. The other, um... The Turian rifle that I cannot think of the name, and I don't see it here, so... I guess we're alright. We'll just, uh... Might have to give him an Avenger or something in the time being. really be mad if I've kept going past it. But I don't think it's been unlocked yet. I think the reason that we're seeing um, these Vindicator, not Vindicators, or whatever that, that rifle is that escapes my memory is because of the mods that are installed. Okie dokie. Let's look at weapon mods. Yeah, I think that's all we've got is this lightweight. Yeah, and 
there's no mods for the pistol. All right. Back upstairs. Commander, I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Uh, sure. For you? And I do want to talk to you about flirting uh, with Allers, and you've been flirting with Edie. This needs to stop. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. Uh -oh. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Not Grissom. I'd like to help them. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Nice word. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. Yes, we're going to have to proceed to Grissom Academy almost immediately because we don't want those students turned into phantoms. Let me see Edie. Let me see Edie. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! <laughs> Did you know about this? So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. Um, did we get a chance to talk to her? No. Come on. Edie? Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. <laughs> Perhaps we should speak privately. And perhaps we should. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? I expect good judgment. Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? You choose your own path. Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. 
But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. See, now this is what I'm talking about. This way that Edie looks human, I mean, now I think it's acceptable for Jeff, Joker, whatever, and her to have a relationship. And I think people will be comfortable with it. Rather than him dating a metallic looking android robot type person. I hope you feel me out there, people. All right. Um, I think we've talked to everyone. Commander, you have a message from Lieutenant Commander Williams. Really? She must be feeling better. Okay. Let me check out. Okay, so we got lots of messages here. And I will scroll through these just in case anyone wants to pause and read them. Hmm, John Dumball. Okay. We're actually getting more, um, I'm at Huerta. Oh, okay. This is, uh, Thane. Meet me in purgatory. Come see me. Beckenstein negotiations from Odina. All right. And here at Ashley is being approached to be a specter. Huh. Okay. All right, that's all. All right. I know we really do need to get to Grissom Academy, but I don't think I've done this before, and I really want to go see Ashley. Hopefully we can do this without jeopardizing the students. That's the thing about Mass Effect. It's like, you know, a lot of this stuff is timed and you, you have to do it almost immediately. Meet with diplomats. See, there's all this stuff going on. Where is Grissom? Okay, right here. All right, let's, let's go see Ashley. Wait a minute. Let me... Let's do a save. Because we have Project Phoenix back on, which uh, strongly affects the populace of the Citadel, and it may cause the game to crash, so... At least we have a save. All right, Alliance Docks. We are transferring your docking clearance. Figures, it already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back. Uh, yes, ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Hospitals. As you can see, Project Variety in action. We have a Turian manning the comms here at the Citadel. Before it was a human. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. All right, it seems to be working. I'm scared to come in here. 
to call this place Huerta Memorial. No. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Our definition of death needs to change. Exactly. Having a crappy memory isn't death. Alzheimer's patients are still citizens. Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits worth of life-saving equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything Welcome else here? Ooh. Be safe. Looks like we could have bought more Metagel, but we're out of money. All right, let's go in here and see Ashley. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Griffin Academy. They have uh -oh. AI I may be able to adapt their sorry use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Okay, now we're starting to get the additional quest. And look at this, Project Variety. We have a Quarian patient here now. Quarians whom I haven't really seen. Anything in here? Anybody talking about anything? Give me the missions now while I'm here. And please do something to help this man. Somebody. Nurse. Help him. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Okay. Is that it? Here we go. Here we go. We just got a quest. Ismar Frontier. All right, nothing here. For when I ship out. I have some bad news. Oh lord. Your squad applied the metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. Hmm. What? I don't understand. It doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Hang in there, Lieutenant. I'm sure we can get you some sort of artificial leg. This is the future, after all. Look, and we have a Turian patient. A female. Definitely Project Variety at work. All right, we've postponed this long enough. Those poor students at Grissom Academy could be dying. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Adina? <laughs> I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. But where do we stand, Shepard? Did we cut all ties? No, we didn't. A lot has happened, Ash. But I'd like to work this out. I'm surprised. Why? Miranda Lawson? Ring a bell? Uh-oh. What about her? I wear armor into battle, not swimwear. I'm a real person, Shepard. Flaws and all. Not sure if that's your thing anymore. Okay, well, unfortunately, this is a 
save file that I didn't have any control over. I didn't realize he had an affair with Miranda. But we'll choose clean slate. I don't deny any of it. We both have history. We can dwell on the past or admit we might have a future. So, what do you think? We take it slow, okay? Just give me some time. Okay. I'm here for you. Okay. Get some rest. You need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. Oh, no, we can't. We can talk now. Tell me more. I've got time to talk. I mean, you know, those students are dying. But we have time. Let's talk about her family. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. Uh, no contact? I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. Mm. All right, let's talk about the promotion to Lieutenant Commander. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so, too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could, and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, <laughs> I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, LC. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Earth. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. Let's talk about working together. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. Hmm. Okay, I think we have exhausted everything. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. Alright, hopefully they've cleared the air. Got two reputation points. Is she gonna say anything else? Hey, Shepard. Just checking in. Anytime. All right, nothing new. Let's go. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. I'm secretly trying to get her to give me something. And that would be incendiary grenades. But I'm not sure exactly what triggers that. 
Okay, I think we're done here on the Citadel. Because I think I've always rushed off to Grissom Academy and never got a chance to talk to Ashley and, like, see Udina leave. At least that's what I'm thinking. Welcome I could be wrong. Shepherd. Oh, look at Please this. We got all these the other name. places here. Um, tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu. Yeah. All right, let's if go to let's question, go to Grissom. We're going to Grissom. Be quiet. We're going to Grissom. <laughs> we need to save those students. I'm gonna make me let those students die. Okay, so now look at this. With Project Variety turned on, we no longer have the black outfits. All right. Cross your fingers, people. I think we might be in the clear looks good looks good okay looks really good okay let's go people in our next episode we go to grissom academy to rescue the students this is hill and i'm out <laughs>